All right. Hi, everyone, and welcome to our webinar, How to Automate Your Lead Management. Uh, we know we, you have a lot of things you could be doing with your time right now, so we really do appreciate you spending it here with us. And I also love to see we have an international audience today, people joining us from all over the world, which is really awesome to see. My name is Katie, and I'll be moderating today's event. Before we get started, I just want to go over a few housekeeping items. So first of all, this webinar will be recorded and you'll get the email with the recording afterwards. And next, all attendees are muted, but if you have questions, please put them in the Q&A box at the bottom of your screen. Uh, if you put your question in the chat box where you've been putting where you're all from, it'll probably get lost just due to the sheer volume of people on this call. So be sure to type it in the Q&A box and we'll have Lori um, and Ryan up from our support team um, to try their best just to get to those during the call. And if not, we'll have time at the end of the webinar for Joel and Monica to answer some of those questions live. There will also be a survey at the end of the webinar and we'd love it if you could fill it out and give us any feedback you might have just so we can improve all of our future events. All right, so let's get started. I would like to introduce our speakers today. First, we have Joel Swain, who is a senior customer success manager on our customer success team here at Zapier. He focuses on making sure that our customers reach successful outcomes. And previously, Joel worked with marketing agencies to help them take advantage of the marketing automation world. And next, we'd also like to welcome Monica Ruiz. Monica is a senior digital marketing strategist at Starmark. For more than seven years, she's had her finger on the pulse of social media and emerging digital marketing trends. Her work for Starmark clients has been recognized with a Facebook case study and several American advertising awards. She also regularly writes e-tips and articles on emerging topics in the industry and was chosen as a featured speaker at the 3CMA conference. Monica is a proud owl who earned her bachelor's degree in multimedia communications from Florida Atlantic University. And prior to joining the Starmark team, she developed strategic social campaigns at Med Partners, Puppy Spot, YMCA of South Palm Beach County, and Improv Comedy Clubs. Welcome, Monica. All right, so for those of you unfamiliar with Zapier, I just wanna give you a quick overview of what we're all about. So what is Zapier? Zapier is a tool that allows you to connect your favorite web apps to each other and move information between them automatically. It allows you to forget busy work and focus on what really matters. You can connect apps like MailChimp, Gmail, Slack, HubSpot, Salesforce, the list goes on and on. And since we have more than 2000 apps, there's a good chance that you'll find apps that you use every day for lead management. Uh, and then I wanted to give you a little overview about Starmark. So Monica is joining us from Starmark. They're an agile marketing services agency. Their expertise shines in running large, complex marketing efforts, like projects like branding and positioning, integrated marketing campaigns, bespoke digital efforts, and developing new marketing technologies. I think we're really lucky to have such an expert on our call today. So excited to have Monica here. Um, all right, so with that, I'm going to let Joel and Monica take it away with the live Q&A. Thanks, Katie. So let's let's jump right in. Monica, can you tell me a little bit more about yourself? You know, how long you've been at Starmark and kind of what types of clients do you work with? Yes, absolutely. And thank you guys for having me. I'm excited to be here. Um, so as Katie mentioned, I'm the senior digital marketing strategist at Starmark. I've worked with Starmark for five years managing paid media campaigns. Um, I'm the subject matter expert when it comes to social for both paid and organic strategy. Um, we work with many different verticals, um, but our top are um, education, travel, B2B, healthcare, and technology. Well, wow, that's a, a lot of different uh, verticals. How, how long have you been using Zapier? Can you uh, explain how you bring Zapier into your client accounts? Yeah, absolutely. Our first license was actually in 2014. So we've had Zapier as part of our collection of tools for about six years. We can say that we're big fans. Uh, we use Zapier for a variety of just different solutions from lead capture from Facebook campaigns to landing pages. Um, we often find that if a client doesn't have a CMS, we often are finding solutions to create for pushing leads either directly into their database or to a Google sheet where their sales team can access the leads in real time. Wow, six years is a, that's quite a while on Zapier. Now, 
do you mainly work with marketing teams or other teams at your client companies? Both. We're really big on collaboration. So our star marks end up becoming an extension to our clients team. So whether it's media, copy, dev, we all work alongside with other departments um, outside of our, their marketing teams. Awesome. And are there any pain points or challenges that your clients face before implementing Zapier? And if so, how does uh, Zapier solve them? So each client is a little bit different. Some clients um, have advanced tools and system for lead integration while others don't. Um, some of the benefits of being an agile agency is we, we do what's called a project roadmap with the clients and the team. So this is a no device session where the team and the clients are asking questions to create a mutual understanding of the project and how it'll be delivered. During this time, this is where we really identify what system we're gonna be integrating into our, our marketing program or lead generation program, um, as well as identify potential roadblocks that we'll need to find a solution for. So for clients that don't have a CRM system, Zapier has been a great resource for connecting our landing page tool to our Google Sheets when needed. Um, and it's also great because we don't have to get our dev team involved for some of the most basic integrations, um, only custom ones, which can be a little more co complex, but incorporating Zapier has really just ultimately for our agency has saved a lot of time. Awesome. So when looking from like a lead gym perspective, what are, what are the main apps your clients are using? So we use the connection for Facebook ads, um, also Google ads, uh, Google Sheets, as we mentioned, um, MailChimp, HubSpot, Unbounce, um, and chatbots. Personally, I really enjoyed the Facebook application and some of our new work that we've been um, working on with client and some marketing campaigns has been integrating um, chatbots. So this, is, this for me has been personally some of my favorite integrations is um, being able to run a messenger campaign and integrating a lead capture using Zapier. Well, that's great. Could you tell us a little bit more about the kind of various use cases you use across your clients? Absolutely. Um, so for one example, we have an education client that uh, ran a fully integrated lead generation program that was composed of search, social, display, and radio. Um, this client, for example, did not have a CRM system that had the ability to capture leads from this program. So our team found a solution using Unbounce, uh, Google Sheets, and Zapier to capture the leads into one centralized system so that their sales team could, could see the leads and interact with those leads from a real-time perspective. Um, Zapier was the tool for integrating the landing pages to Google Sheets, and then our Google lead generation ads to the Google Sheet, and then our Google ads back to the Google Sheets. Um, so because of this system, um, using Zapier, we were able to generate over um, 11,000 prospective parent leads and 75% of, of these leads all came from our Facebook integration. And because of tools like this, our enrollment efforts were up 63% compared to last enrollment period, um, even through a pandemic. So um, just being able to have the right tools, the right strategy, and the right partnerships with um, our team and our clients, we can see really successful outcomes. Wow, 63% is impressive on its own, but even through you know 2020, that's really impressive uh, given the market. Can you tell us, uh, give us an example about one of your tourism clients? Absolutely. Um, this has been one of my uh, favorite interactions, um, came from our tourism destination clients. So again, an example from coming from the pandemic, we were tasked with developing a recovery strategy for the destination. At this time, Florida was just starting to reopen and we needed to find a way to communicate a safety message still while generating business to their local economy. So what, what our team did was we created an overarching brand message and we executed it on different channels. Um, one of those channels was through a messenger campaign on Facebook using a chat bot. So we use this type of integration and the strategy to quickly serve up FAQs about traveling to the destination, what was open, what was closed, what was the safety protocols. Um, and at the end of this chatbot, we also had a, a capability where we would capture leads by asking the user if they wanted to stay in touch um, and subscribe to our newsletter. So the Zap collected email addresses from Facebook and then subscribed them to their newsletter through MailChimp. Um, this campaign won two Smarties from the Mobile Marketing Association for this campaign. So we're super proud of it. Wow, two Smarty Awards, that's, that's actually really impressive. Do, do you have any examples for one of your healthcare clients? 
Yes. Um, so Starmark helped Nova South Eastern University. They're um, a university here in South Florida. But what they have um, that a lot of people are not really aware of is they have a, um, a system of healthcare clinics that's open to the public. So we were tasked with creating um, a, a awareness campaign that to show that we had free healthcare for veter veterans and their families. Um, one of the ways we used to attract new patients was again by incorporating a Facebook Messenger campaign, and we call this our virtual healthcare coordinator. So this friendly bot um, was had the ability to have a personalized interaction and also book appointment requests, share information about the location and services. And when someone was requesting to make an appointment or to find more, we were able to pull that information from Facebook, capture that email address, that contact information through Zapier and integrate it to their, their um, CRM system. Wow, those are some actually really great examples of different ways to use Zapier. So, you know, so far we talked about using Zapier for your clients, but do you use Zapier internally at Starmark? Yep, so for our internal marketing efforts, we use it for landing page integrations and our paid, paid media campaigns such as Facebook. Okay, uh, can you go a little bit more into detail on how Starmark uses Zapier internally? I, I know you said media, landing pages, Facebook ads, uh, any specifics on how these work for you and how they've helped Starmark uh, internally? Absolutely. So without Zapier, the media team would have to pull these leads manually out of Facebook or for some of the different applications, or we would have to create, um, use our in-house dev team to build a custom integration, which would take more time. And, you know, if we're trying to execute media by a certain uh, start day, you know, we need, we need to be able to have a system of tools that can help this and uh, save time for our team to not have to go through the hassle of creating something unique for the client. Um, so we're always looking for ways to automate the process, save time for our team, so we can really focus on dedicating our time to developing these new strategies for our clients. And Zapier for us has really been that tool to help us. All right. So who from Starmark onboards new team members to manage uh, the Zaps for clients? You know, what's what's that process look like? Um, it's really a collaborative effort. It, there's not really a one single person who's responsible for it. Uh, so for media, it's typically, um, I typically onboard the team, uh, but the process is really dependent on the client's needs and how we're using Zapier. Um, but one of the ways internally that we've matched with um, our processes is we, we're naming our Zap folders and we're lining them with our client co codes and we're giving our star markers access to only what, when they need it. So. Um, if a client or sorry, if a uh, teammate is only working on X client, they're only going to see the clients that they're working on. So it, it eliminates noise on the platform. Awesome. That, that's actually exactly what I suggest customers to do. So that's pretty great. So we know Starmark is using a Teams plan. W what are some of the features on the Teams plan that uh, you find helpful for you and your clients and why? So from a, a paid media perspective, definitely the unlimited zaps. Um, for, for the example of our educational client, we were generating a lot of leads in a short amount of time and we needed to upgrade the account. And I'm really happy that we did just for some of the features like being able to organize the folders um, to align with our internal naming conventions, um, leveraging some of the web hooks that are easy to use and set up. Um, sharing workspaces, which allows us, um, to our point, to a, a grant access only to the teammates, to the right clients that they're working on. Oh, that's awesome. So uh, kind of our last question today for Monica, what's next for Starmark in 2021? Any, any new ways you're going to be planning on using Zapier? So I'm really looking forward to trying the new shared app feature to help um, increase our productivity. Just having the ability to share zaps that are already created from our team um, and finding where they suit either new clients that we're onboarding or other initiatives that we're working on, but just leveraging some of the work that we've already put in and uh, will really help us again, save time. We're all about saving time and automating processes. Um, I'm also really excited about exploring some of the new social automation applications. Uh, so personally, just being able to create an application that can help cross promote content is a benefit for us. That's great. You know, thanks again, Monica, for taking the time to share how you use Zapier to automate lead management for your clients at Starmark. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. So 
you know, because of the zaps that Monica shared, I wanted to show you how you can use zaps at your organization to save you and your team some valuable time. Uh, so what we're going to do now is we're going to jump into a few more examples of how to use Zapier for lean management at your company. So as Monica mentioned, they create a lot of workflows that send ads to Google Sheets to organize and automatically populate Google Sheets, uh, saving them time from having to go and download the sheets, as she mentioned, for all their clients daily, which I can tell you personally is not fun. So two of the main flows at Starmark are to set up Facebook lead ads and Google lead ads to Google Sheets, which are two of the examples we have here. And another one, uh, the workflows that they use, which is a kind of a similar, is using that chatbot they mentioned and connecting it directly to MailChimp to auto-populate their leads list in MailChimp. So if you're still unsure, you know, those are pretty specific examples of how to automate lead uh, management at your organization. Uh, I wanted to share a few more examples with you, but please keep in mind, you know, that Zapier has over 2000 apps. So just because you don't see the apps you uh, use listed here, doesn't mean we don't have integrations for them. Uh, you can head over to zapier.com slash apps and you can see a complete list of all the apps we work with. Um, so the ones we're showing here on the screen is uh, very similar in the vein of what we just looked at. So we have a Facebook lead ads to MailChimp. We have Facebook lead ads to a email by Zapier, which is an internal tool we have. Great, and it's super useful for if you wanna send internal notifications, you know, let somebody know that a new lead came in. And then the last one we have here is uh, type forms of Gmail. So Typeform is a popular form app that we have on our um, platform. Um, and obviously you can send emails out when you get new responses on that form. So we got one more example here, and this is a little bit more, you'll notice, you know, we're dealing with more than one action here. So uh, in this example, as new Facebook leads come in, we're not only sending them an email through Gmail, but we're also sending a Slack message to our team, uh, letting them the new lead has come in. Uh, and this will allow our team to jump on new leads as soon as they come in, which as we all know is super important for getting conversions. So now that uh, we talked about different uh, kind of lead examples, I wanna to touch a bit on the features uh, that Zapier has on the team's plan and how you can use Zapier within your company to be more productive like Starmark. So first of all, Zapier for Teams allows everyone on the team to automate their day-to-day -day tasks so they can focus on you know, what's important and also allows teams to automate their processes to more efficiently share access to workflows with no limit to the workflows that you can create. So some of our customers, you know, their favorite features are shared folders like Monica mentioned, which allows you to collaborate and share access to Zaps with your entire team or special people at certain times, like she mentioned. Um, so they kind of work on those uh, workflows together. Also unlimited zaps, so you can create 10 or you can create a thousand uh, zaps are unlimited on the Teams plan. And then enterprise ready security. So I know this is a big one out there, especially in today's age. Uh, Zapier encrypts all of your information sent to and from your account and offers two-factor authentication kind of for that extra layer of security. So now it's time to try automating lead management yourself. Uh, if you go and access to, if you have access to a web page right now, you can try going to zapier.com slash explore. And here you'll find, uh, see the most popular zaps um, that we um, see our customers using. So you can click on, you know, email, most popular, marketing, and you can search by role to find the best zaps for your role. And so for example, if you're in marketing, you can click on explore, click explore Zapier by job role. And here you'll find all the common zaps created in your role. Uh, to find lead management, go to your role and you'll find different ways you can use Zapier for lead management, uh, depending on the apps you're currently using. Also, be sure to check out our site, zapier.com again, slash apps, and you'll find over 2000 apps that we connect with and more than likely we have the ones that you're using today. All right, so thanks everyone for listening. Now we're gonna jump over to a live Q&A and I'll turn it back over to Katie. Awesome. Thank you both. That was great. Um, so we've gotten a lot of questions about seeing an actual demo of um, lead management. And we actually have a lot of Zapier 101 demos that go over a bunch of different types of lead management on our YouTube channel. So if you want to go check those out, you can see a little more in detail on um, 
how to actually use it. And also if you go to zapier.com slash roles, you'll, you can type in what your specific role is. For example, if you're a marketer and you can see all of the different apps that, and, and zaps that people have created, um, that can help you with your lead management, including all of the different ones that Monica um, just talked about. So um, please keep your questions coming. Um, we've got a couple here. Um, this one, it, this one might be a good one for you, Monica. Um, it might be helpful also for Lori or Joel too, but this person is wanting to know how to convince their boss that they need to automate lead follow-up um, after they follow up out fill out a contact form he feels it's too impersonal and will turn people off do either of you have any um feedback on that or information to help this person sure so um being able to convince your boss on can you can you repeat that question one more time the last part of it yeah it's help me convince my boss we need to automate lead follow-up so after they fill out our contact form he feels like it's too impersonal and will turn people off so, so basically we, for follow-up, yeah. Absolutely, so what we found is um, people are looking for an immediate response. So uh, just being able to send a follow-up email. So for example, in the example of um, the NSU example, um, having someone, having a bot from Facebook um, have the opportunity to sign someone up for um, an, an appointment, that needs to happen as an automated process as a secondary follow-up communication almost immediately because one, we're trying to build trust between this um, new identity for the, for the university. Also, um, we're talking about a, a more technical, like a healthcare um, scenario. So you need to have that. And, and that goes with really any leads. You really need to just have some an immediate communication, almost um, immediate, just so you can help um, capture that, that interest right then and there and start that conversation a lot sooner. So if you're doing it manual and you're sending up these follow-up follow emails um, and you're doing that as a manual process, you have the opportunity of actually losing the lead um, earlier on into the system rather than just having having some an automated tool send out an email that we've heard you, we're, we're responding to you, someone will follow up with a, with, a, with a phone call or however you're following up with them. Great. Um, okay, here's one for you, Monica. Monica and her work at Starmark is really impressive. She just spoke of being able to assist an education company increase enrollment by 63%. Wow, I use Zapier extensively. Is Monica available to be possibly hired to help my educational organization grow? Absolutely. Shoot me an email. Um, we'll share contact information and we can have a conversation. Great. Um, okay, so a few people have asked if you can kind of go over again the use case you talked about by using LinkedIn ads and Facebook ads to Google Sheets. Can you kind of go into how you set that up? Sure. So we were using the on the Facebook and LinkedIn side, the lead generation form fill for Facebook. So um, when you're doing that without a tool like Zapier, and you don't have a CRM, the way you'll actually download the, the, the ads is through the Facebook ads platform. Um, so when you download those ads in that way, there's really not a way to, unless you're doing it every day, compile that list over and over. So it, when we were doing this before, it would take hours just to really compile this list and then send it to the client. Um, so when you're using something like a connection to Google Sheets, for example, it's pulling that lead as soon as they hit submit um, to that form, it's pulling that almost immediately into the sheet. And then the sales team is getting a notification when something is added to that Google sheet. So it's creating a new row for that contact. And we also created a, a section for notes so we can know when the sales team has followed up, what part of the, the lead funnel that they're in. Um, you know, so that way we all can see, have a, a, a full view of where that lead is in the process. Awesome. Thank you. Okay. Does your entire marketing team know how to use Zapier or do you have certain people on the team that are master users and what would you recommend for a like another team? So I would say about 30% of star markers are, um, have the, the knowledge of creating zaps and, and using the team. What I really like about the, the platform is we've been able to onboard new members onto the system very, very, very easy and seamless. Um, and now using the shared application um, feature, we're gonna be able to do it a lot faster. So 
it's not, I think the, the, the platform is, has such a, a user-friendly application and there's so many resources out there, um, educational resources on how to create a Zap, QAing Zaps, that we, our team has really been able to pick up this tool and run with it without finding um, any limitations really. Awesome. Okay, let's see here. This one might be good for you, Joel or Lori on the call. Um, can you use Zapier to build out more complex drip marketing campaigns for leads? Yeah, I can take that one. Um, absolutely. So we have, um, you know, a bunch of different internal tools and apps that allow you to do things like put delays or make conditional statements. We call them pass. So you can say, for example, you know, if you ask them what industry they're in, you can have a, you know, a path, we call it, where you can have different kind of drip campaign content sent based on the industry that they're in. So you can build that straight into Zapier and kind of send out emails one off uh, with delays in between them. Um, or you can just push data straight to a drip campaign uh, service, for example, um, like a, uh, I think drip is one of them or a CRM tool like HubSpot that allows you to do those things automatically. Um, just kind of whatever, whatever you're working with, you have a tool, you can send it to that. Or if you don't have a tool, you can do it right in Zapier also. Awesome. Um, this one might also be good for, um, Joel, you and, or Lori, what's the best app for sending text messages after a lead comes in? Do either of you know that, that answer? Yeah, again, there's not one app that's gonna be best. Um, you know, we work with a bunch of different SMS texting apps. Um, actually, if you go to zapier.com slash apps, we have categories on the left side and one of them is for SMS because we have so many of them. Um, you know, I've worked with customers who have worked, you know, use like uh, Twilio um, and um, SMS Send and a bunch of other different ones, and they've all had good results. Um, so, you know, if you already have an, uh, you know, an account with somebody that you're already using and we have a connection, you can just go start off using it right away. Awesome. Okay. Um, here's a question. I'm not sure if anyone knows this answer, but how do you choose between going for a CRM or choosing Zapier? I know they're very different, but. Yeah. So those things aren't mutually exclusive. Um, Zapier helps facilitate a CRM by helping you put your data from tools like Facebook lead ads, LinkedIn lead ads, Google lead ads, and pushing that into your CM. Uh, or you can use Zapier and kind of make your own CRM. So we have people that do that with tools like Airtable or they use Google Sheets um, or things like that. And they kind of make their own CRM uh, kind of base system and kind of use it in that function. Um, or uh, you can just use it to facilitate a CRM by helping you kind of put that data uh, into that tool for you automatically. Awesome. Okay, uh, if there is an app I use on Zapier, but Zapier doesn't have a particular trigger or process I'm looking to do, is there any established process for creating that functionality, either by requesting it directly to Zapier, or reaching out to the devs at the app tool? Yeah, I can take that one again. Uh, so th the best thing you can do is reach out to our support team. And what they can do is they can make a feature request on our side. You know, a lot of the apps on our marketplace are actually owned by the app um, creators themselves. So what we can do is we can create an internal request for them to add something, but it doesn't hurt to reach out to them also. You know, people like to, you know, hear from their customers uh, and, you know, let them know that this thing is important to you and you would like to see it on Zapier. And that's the same thing for apps that, you know, maybe you use that aren't on our marketplace yet. Um, same thing, let them know and let us know and, and we can uh, work with them to get it on there. Awesome. Okay, more questions are coming in. Here's another one. What tool can I use to automatically respond when I get a lead? That's kind of, you kind of answered that. There's a lot of different apps, but I don't know if you can expand on that. For sure. Yeah, so really any email service that you have that has an app on our marketplace can be used to automatically send a response when you get a new lead. So the way Zapier works, if you haven't used it already, is it's basically broken down two functions. We have a trigger, and the trigger is what's kicking off the workflow. So that would be a new lead coming into Facebook lead ads, for example. 
And then the actions would be, what, what do you want us to do with that data? And that could be sending email through Gmail, send the email through Outlook, put them in MailChimp, you know, um, put them into your CRM that has the ability to send emails and, and automate it through that, that way. Um, so there's a bunch of different ways to do it. Again, it's based on the apps you have, right? We work with a lot of different apps. So, you know, you don't necessarily have to go get a new app to, to make this happen. You could use your existing apps or existing services um, and just connect them to Zapier and do it through that. Great. And there are, are a lot of questions just about like certain workflows and stuff. And we, I want to reiterate that we also do Zapier 101 demo about once a month and they're all located on our YouTube channel. So if you're wanting to see how to actually use Zapier in the tool, um, please feel free to check those out. We go over a bunch of different types of flows um, or go onto the website. There's a ton of pre-made zaps that you can literally just copy and use for yourself. Um, and I recommend, I like the page uh, Zap, Zapier slash roles and I go into marketer and I can see all of the different apps that Zapier uses with uh, for marketers. So um, that's how I recommend getting started. There's a question here. How do you get, recommend getting started with Zapier as a marketer? Um, I don't know, Joel, Monica, if you have anything to add to that. Yeah, I, I know that's, an ex, that's a great example. I think I always recommend, you know, go to Zapier, sign up for a free trial if you don't have one already. You can go in there, look at all the apps that you have. We have a tool that allows you to basically search the apps that you have, select them. And then once you've selected them all, it gives you different ways to connect those together and suggestions that are popular. Um, and it's a good way to get in there and see different ways that you might not have thought about. Um, and, and it'll kind of make those recommendations to you. Um, and, and you can see other apps and tools that you know maybe you didn't think about using yet um, that you could take advantage of. Awesome. Well, thank you all. We're at, at time. We will be sending an email with the follow up recording and with other resources that you can use to um, start automating your lead management. And I want to thank you, Monica and Joel, for a great webinar. Thanks so much. Thank you for having me. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. you.